Hello, welcome to NeoScribe. This is Mars as viewed on NASA's awesome web-based portal, Mars Track. And this point here is the Jezero Crater where NASA's Mars 2020 mission will take place. The launch window for the mission is between July 17th and August 5th of this year and centers around the Perseverance rover. The Perseverance is nearly identical to the Curiosity rover except for redesigned wheels. Reusing Curiosity's design makes sense because the Curiosity is an engineering marvel and saves NASA a lot of money in development costs. The Mars 2020 mission is just one part of NASA's overarching Mars exploration program. The program has four key science goals in which the Perseverance will play a significant role in their achievement. The first goal is to determine whether life ever existed on the planet, and this is why the Jezero Crater was chosen to be the site. The crater may have contained a large 800-foot lake connected to rivers. To help achieve this goal, the Perseverance is equipped with three amazing instruments. The Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, or PIXEL. The Scanning Habitable Environments with Raman and Luminescence for Organics and Chemicals, or SHERLOCK. And the SuperCam. Pixel is an X-ray spectrometer which allows Perseverance to detect signs of biofilm made by microbes that may have lived on the planet long ago when the climate was warmer. Typical examples of biofilm here on Earth include pond scum and even the plaque in your mouth. The Pixel is a fascinating feat of engineering. At just 10 pounds, it is 50 times lighter than the typical lab spectrometer used for the same purpose. Now, Sherlock also has a spectrometer, but it uses an ultraviolet laser to determine the chemical makeup of surfaces. I'm sure there are more differences, but the point is that both instruments are searching for signs of ancient microbes. And last but not least is the SuperCam, which examines rocks and soils with a camera, laser, and spectrometer to seek organic compounds. It can identify the chemical and mineral makeup of targets as small as a pencil point from a distance of more than 7 meters. Now let's move on to the second goal, which is to characterize the climate of Mars. If we are going to start a colony on Mars, we are going to need as much information about the planet as possible. Looking back at the Jamestown settlers in the 1600s, they did not expect the harsh winters and summers that they had to endure, and that the conditions of the soil made it difficult to farm on. So learning everything that we can about Mars, including the climate, is crucial. The rover is like a detective in the sense that it will perform astrobiological investigations using the Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, or META. META will continuously measure the characteristics of the Martian atmosphere, including the direction and wind speed, temperature, and humidity, and also measures the amount and size of dust particles. Now, dust might not be the first thing you think about, but Mars colonists in the future will constantly have to deal with dust storms, which can be massive. Dust storms on Mars can block out the sun for weeks, and about every 7 to 10 years, there are enormous dust storms that cover the entire planet. The data collected from Meadow will help predict weather conditions that the first astronauts will face. Now, the third goal is to characterize the geology of Mars by studying the rock record. Discovering the age of rocks on Mars will help determine the sequence of events of the planet's history. The rover will specifically look for evidence of rocks that formed in water that possibly preserve evidence of organics. It will do this using the Radar Imager for Mars Subsurface Experiment, or RIMFAX. RIMFAX uses radar waves to uncover what lies beneath the Martian surface, capable of detecting ice or salty brines. By discovering what different fluids are buried beneath the surface, we'll be able to learn so much about the planet's past. Additionally, the rover will use its percussive coring drill to collect rock samples and place them in sealed tubes. The cool thing is that these samples will eventually be placed on the planet's surface and possibly be collected on a future Mars mission to be returned to Earth for future study. Learning the geology of Mars is foundational knowledge that is important for future colonists. Lastly, the fourth goal of the Mars 2020 mission is to prepare for human exploration. 
The Perseverance has four sub-objectives for this goal, but we are going to zero in on the Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, or MOXIE. MOXIE is an experiment that aims to demonstrate the ability to produce oxygen from the Martian atmosphere. This is crucial for two reasons as astronauts and colonists need oxygen to breathe, and it can also be used as a propellant for return trips back to Earth. Mars actually contains plenty of oxygen in the carbon dioxide molecules, which makes up over 95% of its atmosphere. MOXIE takes the Mars atmosphere and heats it up to 800 degrees Celsius, which allows the oxygen atoms to separate from the carbon atoms. If this experiment is successful, NASA may send a dedicated mission to produce oxygen on Mars, which would lay the groundwork for human missions and a colony. So all of the instruments on the Perseverance are astonishing in their own right, but to top it off, the rover is also equipped with the helicopter. Mars atmosphere has less than 1% the density than the Earth, so the helicopter is a technology demonstration test that aims to prove that controlled flight is possible. The helicopter runs on lithium ion batteries that provides enough energy for one 90 second flight per charge with a range of 300 meters. If successful, future Mars rover missions may be equipped with drones that can scan surrounding areas for interesting objects and places for the rover to explore. NASA has a long succession of successful Mars rover missions going back 23 years. Two of NASA's rovers, the Opportunity and Curiosity, are among the greatest missions in the history of unmanned space exploration. Hopefully, the Perseverance continues this succession. And hopefully, through its discoveries and experiments, it paves the way for the human missions to come. All right, that's all I have for now. I'm so excited for the Mars 2020 mission, and I'm particularly interested in the MOXIE experiment because it's so essential for human exploration and for Mars colonization. Which part of the mission are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neoscribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.